Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Tutor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do a mask text reveal in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Alright, so we're in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and I'm going to show you how we can mask that bus right here to have a text reveal, revealing the text behind the bus. To do that, we're going to go over to the Fusion page and we're going to use uh, the mask node and the text node. So first off, bring the clip that you would like to uh, use in your timeline, then just right click on it and create a new Fusion clip and now we can go over to Fusion. Now I'm just going to select here where I would like to start my uh, masking. So we're going to do something around there, the 55th uh, frame, uh, and we're just going to reveal the text behind the bus. Okay, so now we're going to bring a text between my media in and my media out. For that first, we're going to bring a merge right here. I'm going to put it in between the media in and the media out. So you can just take it, hold shift and drag it directly here in between the two. That's going to just connect it. Or you can just, uh, you know, take the arrow right here, put it in the background input and put the output back to the media out. Now we're going to bring a text node and we're going to link it to here, the merge one foreground input. And right here we're in London, so we're just gonna add London for the text. I'm gonna uh, switch to Montserrat for the font and I'm gonna just increase a little bit the size and recenter so it's just like in the middle of the bus roughly. Now that we got all text, we're gonna need to start doing the masking. So here I'm gonna select text one and I'm gonna select here polygon. It's a polygon mask that we can just draw around uh, to just mask that text. So here, make sure that you have this uh, click append selected. So this little pencil. And now we're gonna start to draw the mask. Instead of drawing the mask around the bus, I'm gonna draw the mask so it cover the other area and we're gonna hit invert. It's gonna be just easier for this one. So here, I'm just gonna select a couple of points. Here we go. Up and I'm closing my mask. Perfect. So now as you can see, the text is masked and if we were to hit invert, we'll be able to see the text that is now hidden behind the bus. So right now, I'm just gonna uh, unselect invert and we're gonna start to move around the mask uh, so we can create that reveal effect. So here, first off, I'm gonna make sure that I'm right on the good spot for the bus to just define that line right here. And here you got those little handle and you can just move them around so you can adjust for the curve. So here, I'm just gonna adjust the curve a little bit, perfect. Okay, so we got all mask in position. Now I'm just gonna move a couple of frames forward and then we're just gonna move all the points and make sure that you cover the area properly. Here we go. Now I'm just going to speed up that process. You get the point, move a couple of frames forward and you're just going to move your masking. Automatically, uh, you don't need to, you know, come and add a keyframe point. Automatically, it will be animated. So here I'm moving that forward right there. And as you see, if I were to play it now, the mask is moving along. OK, so you don't need to add those keyframe points uh, step by step, it will do it automatically. So now I'm just going to speed it up for the sake of the video. Uh, make sure that you are as precise as possible so you can get the best effect possible. Now here we go, we're done uh, keyframing this mask. So now if we play it, as you can see, the mask now is revealing the London text. Quick tips, make sure to zoom in your image right here. You can uh, select different percentage of zoom in or you can just on Mac uh, hit a command and then zoom with your scroll wheel or your pad and it will just zoom in your image and then you can just, you know, be a bit more precise uh, on what you're doing over there. Uh, here, for example, I could have been a bit better right here and depending on what you're trying to mask make sure to uh, use those little handle to have something that is really suiting the shape that you're trying to mask you can add as well new point by just clicking here on the line and then you can move that point as well and you can adjust the handling uh, once more right here now just to make my text pop a little bit more i'm just gonna add a shadow behind it so i separated a bit more with the background so i'm just gonna go back here to text we're gonna go over to shading here we're gonna select uh, element 3 and we're gonna enable the shadow and here we're just gonna bring the opacity a bit down so it's not too much and here we go now we got our mask text reveal uh, it's really really easy to do uh, in the fusion page and one last tip before letting you go here 
if you click on polygon you can adjust the soft edge which is basically the feathering of your mask you can increase it or decrease it i will recommend that for those kind of things uh, you leave it at zero but depending on what you try to mask and uh, how quick your object is uh, if your object is very quick maybe you will need to add some feathering to it uh, that's being said i hope this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website including titles transition and templates but only for DaVinci Resolve get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com